Welcome back. So we do have some Kerbal Space Program 2 news. What is it? We have been given version 0 0.2.2.0. Let's have a look at the release notes. First of all, this was a pretty silent launch, I would say. There was no like news before it, no messages anywhere. If you looked closely and watched Reddit, obviously, there was like some hours ago the patch uploaded to Steam and you could see that on SteamDB, for example. But that's it. Then when it was published, there was the official forum post, of course, and there was a message in the announcements channel on the Discord. As you can imagine, the comments are on fire, but let's try to stay like with the facts and just go over what we have been given here. So first of all, we have the construction section. We have four fixes in there. None of the bugs that have been fixed uh, are any bugs that I had experienced in the past. They are basically regarding parts being in specific combinations, behaving weirdly and stuff. I haven't experienced any of those in the past. Then in flight and map, we have for updates actually it's mostly regarding parachutes and the most visible or prominent one is that you can now create maneuver nodes even if your vehicle reports zero delta v remaining and also in this, this section of course we have a lot of fixes nine fixes also regarding parachutes, some of the issues I have experienced in the past, uh, glad they're fixed now, and some fairing related stuff. Under effects and audio, I was hoping for some of Black Rex stuff, but what we got is one fix for some launch smoke issues. Well, disappointing. Menus and settings, they have updated the credits. Yeah, well, okay. They have also removed the private division launcher. What good was it in the first place? Obviously, it wasn't necessary for anything. I'm just glad it got removed. Most likely it got removed because uh, they are going to shut down the servers that it communicates with and there will be no content for it. And the missions and tutorials, we have two updated missions and one fixed mission. Then under saving and loading, we get more autosave points. Yeah, can't hurt. Under UI and UX we have five updates that should make things more clear for new gamers. Not that there are going to be many new gamers in the future, right? Anyway. And that is already it. There are no new features at all. There are no new parts. There are no graphics improvements, performance improvements. I have to say I'm quite disappointed. Why would they even release this? Why is this actually the end? Is there not coming anything after it? Then this is just, yeah, okay, they release what they have. But if this is really the last update, then they could also have put in stuff that is 90% finished, right? Why not just give it to us? Anyway, this is it. Version 0 0.2.2.0. Let's, let's hope, fingers crossed, that it's not going to be the last version that we will see. But it might be. So, have a nice day, everyone. And... 
hopefully we see each other in the next KSP2 video. Bye bye.